Okay, thank you for kind introduction. I'm going to talk about uh, my, well, old work and the recent works. <laughs> well, actually, I worked on neural network 15 years ago, and I have been working on kernel method for 15 years, and there, well, I'm coming back to neural network also. <laughs> and uh, well, today's talk is a mixture of well, old work and uh, well, a little bit extension of the, my old work. Okay, so there are, well, of course, you know quite well about the local minima of neural network, and uh, well, we believe, or it may be folklore, but our neural network should have many local minima, and so we should avoid them. But actually, it is not easy to see the local minima rigorously. Well, one famous work in the kind of classical works um, is given by, well, Pierre, and uh, it's about linear neural network, and it doesn't have local minima. And uh, for nonlinear units, it is also known by these guys that uh, uh, we can find some training data set such that uh, they cause, well, exponentially many local minima. But if we are given some data set, it is not straightforward to say whether or not there are local minima. And I did some work in this direction. Uh, it's a paper in 2000. Um, saying that uh, uh, we can somehow embed a local minima of neural network with smaller number of hidden units to the saddle point or local minima to the larger neural network. Well, I, I mean more rigorously, uh, well, some condition can be given in the, to this direction. And, uh, well, but, uh, well, it's very difficult to analyze the uh, structure of local minima given that set. And today's talk concerns some extension of this work. And the more recent work are done, well, in the deep learning era. And uh, there is some extension of Pierre's work saying that a deep linear ne neural network uh, did, don't have local minima either. And this is, was done by last, year, uh, last year's uh, NIPS. And uh, by using this fact, um, they also discussed the local minima of deep neural network with uh, ReLU. And uh, they say that uh, it doesn't have local minima either, but uh, they require some very strong theoretical assumption or, well, it, it's uh, not straightforward to uh, confirm that. That's about the independency, about the labeling and the input data. Well, labeling means that, uh, well, whether or not the uh, uh, ReLU uh, gives a non-trivial value. Well, so the local minima is still very uh, important, but a very difficult question. So today's talk, I mainly talk about on shallow network with two layers, or well, some people call it three layer, and there are, well, arbitrary nonlinear hidden units. And there are, uh, for simplicity, I consider the linear output unit, but uh, it can be nonlinear uh, function also. And I consider, rather than the direction of a deep neural network, but uh, I consider the relation be between the uh, network with smaller hidden unit and network with larger number of hidden units. And somehow I embed this smaller network to the larger one and consider the relation about um, minimum points or saddle points. Okay. So uh, here is um, one, well, the basic construction about the relation. So let's say that uh, we have a smaller neural network with H0 hidden units. And to duplicate one of the hidden units with the same weights, 
uh, in the first, uh, for first layer parameter. <clears throat> and uh, for the output layer weights, let's divide this weight into these copies. And if the sum is equal to this weight, then it is easy to know that uh, the realized functions are exactly the same. That's quite simple. So they um, realize the same function. So suppose that uh, this smaller network realizes a minimum point of some loss function. And what does it mean to this embedded network in a larger size? That's a question. OK, more formally, to fix the notations, I will write the same thing again. Where the parameter in the small network is give, written by zeta in the second layer and u in the first layer. And uh, I embed this one to a larger network by duplicating the hidden units. And the parameter in the larger network are given by, denoted by V and W. V is the second layer, W are in the first layer. And by the embedding, well, some number of hidden units is copied from the first layer. Uh, ah, sorry, it's a smaller network. And uh, actually, in this case, I, you, I, I cop make a copy of the last unit. And the share uh, will divide the weights zeta, H naught, into some number of copies. And to specify the division, I use lambda. So the sum of the lambda is equal to 1. They can be positive or negative. But the sum should be 1 to realize the same network, same function. OK? OK, so it is, well, as, as seen in the previous slide, it, it is obvious that the realized functions are the same. And the question is, OK, so here is some un, well, illustration. Well, we realize the same function. But actually, by changing lambda, we have uh, many parameters that realize the same function. And actually, the effective direction is only uh, 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 by uh, assuming that, uh, by considering the slice at the location where the w are the same as u, um, effective direction to change the uh, parameter is only one. Or if the output dimensionality is m, this is m-dimensional vector. And in this direction, we can change the function. But in other directions of uh, parameter in the second layer, they realize exactly the same function. So there are some high-dimensional hyperplane orthogonal to this effective direction, that gives exactly the same function. OK? Well, and the qu next question is, function values are the same. <clears throat> What's the implication of the critical points, or saddle or local minima, uh, minimum points? To see this, well, we need some data and loss function or error function. So let's say that uh, we have arbitrary data points. Um, output dimensionality is M and the input dimensionality L. And uh, we prepare any type of differentiable loss function and consider loss error function. <coughs> this is a kind of standard um, setting. <coughs> Excuse me. And suppose that we have, OK, so, so this is a definition of stationary points. Stationary points means that the point that gives a zero a gradient. And the minimum point or saddle point should satisfy this relation. And suppose now that uh, we have a stationary point over a smaller network and embed that point into a larger network by specifying lambda, as in the previous slide. Then we can prove 
that this is also a stationary point of the larger network for any lambda. Actually, this is very um, easy to prove. Here are some proof. This is very easy, so I show the proof. Well, let's consider the stationarity condition of the smaller network. So this is simply the gradient should be zero. So the gradient with respect to zeta and the u should be zero. And this is just a simple um, gradient of the two-layer neural network, and this is just a chain rule. OK, this is a condition. And let's consider the gradient of the larger network. Um, so this is, well, quite similar to the previous one. Uh, for simplicity, I assume that the H0 is 1. The smaller networks have only one unit. But uh, this, this is just for simplicity, and, and the other parts are exactly the same. Well, so we, ha we have a quite similar formula here. And the data table with respect to the second layer weight is exactly the same as the first line. And sh this, it should be zero. And for the data table with respect to the first layer weight contains V here. This is a chain rule or the back propagation. And the, but the, by the definition we're embedding, this is simply the scalar multiple of zeta. And then we can use the second line, and this should be zero. So, and, and another important thing is that the loss function part are the same because the function values are the same. So, this simple consideration proves this fact. And another question, well, the next question is, suppose that uh, we have minimum point for the smaller network. Is that, the question is whether or not that is, gives a minimum point of the larger network, or just a subtle point. I'm going to answer this question. As a preparation, I introduce another, uh, well, sorry, the pram new parameterization for the larger network. So let's consider the first layer weight, W, for the larger network. And again, I, I just um, use the, uh, this condition. The smaller network should have, well, only one unit, just for simplicity. It can be easily extended to a more general case. And uh, well, this is again the division of the second layer weight. And uh, I introduce the parameter transform W into B and eta. And for the parameter transform, this is just a linear transform of the parameter. And uh, I use some matrix. And this matrix is given by coefficient alpha or matrix A, and this is a, a matrix for the parameter transform, and this should be invertible. And another, um, okay, so the first thing is that uh, we have common B here in the parameter transform, and this serves as the weight vector in the smaller network. So B makes the same direction of w for all the W. And the eater make W different. And to simplify, well, to um, <coughs> simplify the Hessian representation, I put one constraint. Um, so the a, the row of a, must be orthogonal to lambda. And it is also very easy to see that uh, because of uh, well. It is easy to see that uh, these two conditions are compatible, and we, we can always take such matrix A to make uh, this type of parameter transform. OK. So under this parameterization, we can compute the Hessian very easily. 
and that this is divided into three parts, and the blue parts essentially come from the, the Hessian of the smaller network. The different point is that the, the, because of the duplication of the hidden units, the Hessian, the, this matrix is also duplicated. We have H copies of this matrix. So as, assuming that the theta star is a critical point, uh, sorry, the local minima uh, or global minima, minimum point of the smaller network, this part is essentially positive definite. But, but uh, of course, because of this application, it has zero eigenvalues. But uh, such zero eigen degeneracy comes only from the same function value. If we consider the effective direction only, then the Hessian should contain only positive eigenvalue. That's one point. And thanks to this condition in defining alpha parameter transform, these parts are just zero. So essential part in the Hessian comes from, or non-trivial part of the Hessian comes from this part. This is the second derivative with respect to ether. Ether is basically giving the direction that differentiates W. And the computation of the Hessian is somehow straightforward. Um, and by looking at the Hessian, we see that the Hessian, this part, is decomposed in the tensor, pro uh, sorry, the, is equal to the tensor product of two matrix. And this first part comes, contains only lambda and the fixed parameter transform A. And this part is a non-trivial part. And this is called, well, denoted by G. And the matrix G contains data and loss function and the parameter in the, far, well, the smaller network. And this is non-trivial. But the, because the eigenvalue of the Hessian, uh, eigenvalue of the, sorry, the tensor product is the product of the respective eigenvalues, we can prove the following theorem. Suppose that the um, theta star is a minimum point of um, this uh, smaller network, or maybe I, I should, more, should be more precise, having the, 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 um, the positive definite Hessian. That should be needed. And assume that uh, this non-trivial part of the Hessian in the larger network is positive definite. Then, if the lambda to specify the embedding are all positive, then the embedded parameter gives the minimum point of the larger network. And in other cases, saying that uh, if matrix G is positive definite, but the lambda contains negative value, then it should be a subtle point. And also, if G contains a negative eigenvalue, then the embedded point should be a negative point, a subtle point. Okay. I illustrate uh, a sim very simple example using one output and two hidden unit. And our paper in 2000 uh, discusses, discussed only one output case, but uh, by looking at the uh, the proof more carefully, I found that uh, it can be extended to a multiple output case, and that's what I'm talking today. Okay, skipping the, the well, this is a, the previous result, and well, one output and the two hidden units case. In, in, in this case, the, this hyperplane to give the same function has only one dimension, one dim and, and uh, this is line. And this is, gives a stationary line. And uh, by the, the value of lambda, 
This line is decomposed into two parts, and the red part gives local minima, and the blue part gives saddle point. So they all realize the same function, but depending on, on the embedded point, they can be local minima, or they can be saddle points. And he, he, this surface is a kind of illustration of the situation. The function value or error function values are exactly the same, but they consist of local minima and saddles. Okay. And we, based on this theorem, we can also um, give an example of local minima. So this is a simple case where we have only two hidden units and one output unit. And so this is a one-dimensional curve. And there are two one is given by this more complex curve. And I made, I trained a neural network with one hidden unit. And this curve is a solution, probably global minimum. And I embed this parameter into a network with two hidden units by specifying lambda. And if lambda is 0 0.5, this curve is local minima. It is confirmed by numerically. I mean that's a confirmed that the, the matrix G is positive definite. So a kind of numerical verification, not mathematically rigorous proof, but it, well, numerically, this is confirmed as local minima if lambda is 0 0.5. The same function can be saddle point if lambda is less than 0 or larger than 1. This is what's happening in, the very, in this very simple case. OK, because this is a workshop of deep learning, I, well, as I excuse, I include one slide about deep network. <laughs> but, uh, well, I, well, to be honest, this is not well, very strong result. I have been talking about the, the relation between the smaller network with, uh, well, I mean that the network with smaller hidden unit and the network with larger hidden, larger number of hidden units with two layer network, in the two layer network. But let's consider the similar relation in the direction of a deeper network. But it can be done only very well, uh, non, uh, somehow non-interesting situation. Well, let's consider the network with k layers. And we, we want to embed this k layer network into the k plus one layer network. To realize this, I need to assume that, the, that these k plus one layers should have, k plus one layers should have the same number of units as a k layer. Because we need to train the same function. And uh, let's consider, well, less interesting situation, <laughs> saying that uh, we only consider the identical mapping from this part. And uh, obviously, the function the same, obvious. And uh, another, well, the less obvious thing is that uh, this trivial construction, construction gives a saddle point if the smaller network is a saddle point of the network. This is, well, can be. Uh, easily confirmed by looking at uh, the stationary condition. But unfortunately, ah, okay, I assume that uh, this is re ReLU. And uh, or more precisely, probably it's better to well, smooth the version of the ReLU around the origin. But unfortunately, well, it's difficult to discuss Hessian because the second derivative of this function is zero in most cases. So the Hessian discussion doesn't work to ReLU, unfortunately. OK, this is almost the end. And uh, I have talked about the, the shallow network, but uh, I uh, discussed the non-trivial relation between the network with smaller hidden units uh, and the larger hidden units. And the stationary point can be embedded into the larger network. And if the stationary point is local minima, we have a condition to uh, judge whether um, the embedded point is local minima or uh, saddle points. And I 
well included one well less interesting slide <laughs> in the deep about deep network but uh, probably more interesting question is that uh, i talked about only two layer network but there's i believe that a similar hierarchical structure well structure of subtle point uh, critical point exists in um deeper neural network by considering the different hidden unit number of hidden units in, in some layer and but still that's our ongoing work okay thank you very much uh, all right um time for questions um so stefan mala has this scattering transform which is a very you know, different approach to things, mm -hmm. which is more like uh, you expand things out, right? Um, have you looked at this? And could you, uh, because he, he can go deep with his uh -huh. way of representing things. Have you thought about, you know, relations? Okay, maybe I, I well, don't know their, um, about their work and their, well, sorry, I don't have an answer, but sir, I, I sh should look at it. Uh, <clears throat> so, in the graph of the uh, local minimum and saddle point, so lambda is uh, unknown parameter you for optimization. So, I, I mean, this figure uh, does this figure shows that uh, the this local minima never be global minima. Um, in this case, that shouldn't be global minima because we, in other parts it, it attains a smaller value for error function. Okay, and, and the, another question is, uh, do you think you can use this result uh, to learn, so suppose that you have good solution for smaller neur neural network and do you think you can use this information for larger neural network? Mm, well, Actually, well, I haven't tried to use this structure for, well, make advantage of this structure, but uh, this part is obviously should be avoided. And uh, so, um, for example, the natural gradient can avoid this area. And, uh, well, this is another work on neural network, but a similar structure exists in mix finite mixture model as a density model. And in this case, by splitting the one of the component, we can, well, in that case, it, it's only the saddle points. There's no local minima. And so we can, by splitting, we can, uh, well, always um, attain larger likelihood. And that type of uh, structure can be used for training of mixture model. Thank yeah. you. Hi. Uh, do you have uh, any result concerning uh, uh, the fact that uh, when you have a target which is outside the reachability values of the output, then you have these uh, uh, minima which are at the asymptote uh, of, of the function? Because I remember that was one of the results uh, in the early days. Ah, so you mean the very large value of the parameter, or? Yeah, the fact that uh, since uh, you have a target, for example, one, but the sigmoid function is not okay, reaching, so, uh, it's um, reaching one only asymptotically, so you have a minima also at the asymptote. So I was wondering whether um, you have any new results on that. Well, in this study, um, well, I, I don't consider such case. Well, for example, the exclusive OR is realized, well, uh, somehow re asymptotically realized in such well, the diverging parameter, but uh, this theory doesn't contain such cases. A yeah, question. Um, uh, probably I missed something. Uh, what is not clear to me is uh, so a loss function is a arbitrary loss function, right? Yes, uh, only and, the and requirement only differentiability. And uh, if I imagine the loss function is like a squared error, mm -hmm. and now your simple function 
uh, has already zero error. It's zero, it's perfect. Uh, but how can you get a settle point, which means there's a way going down below zero? Um, well, if, if it attains zero, perhaps it cannot be applied. Yeah. It's a, well, the Hessian is degenerate in that case. So if the Hessian is degenerate, essentially, uh, well, I mean that the Hessian is, well, n contains non-trivial zero eigenvalue, then this cannot be applied. This theorem cannot be applied. Why, why should you care? <laughs> You're already where you want to be. The problem is local minima, which are definitely not the global minima. Thank you. All right, uh, let's thank Kenji again. Thank you.